you guys welcome back to my channel it's your favorite girl I'm Lani Jolene and I'm here with yet another video for you guys now obviously you clicked on this video because you want to start your own business but you know sometimes you're on a budget which is totally fine but I don't want that to hinder anyone from actually starting a business so before we get into the video, for those of you who have no idea who I am, my name is Amani Jelena, the owner of AmaniJelena.co and also the owner of Allure96, which is a hair extension company. So if you are interested in ordering bundles from me or wanting me to be your wholesaler or anything like that, make sure you check the description box. Tons of information there. And also, if you're just on the hunt to actually learning the process of starting a business, go ahead and check out AmaniJelena.co because that's where all of my content to help different entrepreneurs with different struggles that they're having with their business you'll be able to find tons of information there as well for the startup the legal process the developmental process the marketing all that good stuff along with replays and different uh digital content as well and last thing make sure you guys follow me on my different social media sites especially my instagram because i'm going to start going live on there to interact with you guys on a different level okay but let's just jump into this video. This video is basically about starting a company with a hundred bucks, particularly starting a hair business with a hundred dollars. Now I know you guys are probably like, girl, who finna start a hair company for a hundred dollars? But I want you to listen, okay? You gotta crawl before you can walk and always remember that. Now the information that I'm going to give you all throughout this video is more so the price structure in order to start a business for just a hundred bucks. I know that sounds a little bizarre, but you can actually do it. Now, something that I want you guys to know is the industry that I'm talking about is obviously the hair industry, but like I said, you got to crawl before you walk. So if you just have a hundred dollar budget, you got to kind of make do, you kind of, you got to make some shake with what you already have. So basically how we're going to break down this hundred dollars is instead of, uh, you know, instead of us starting a hair company with just raw hair, Indian hair, Brazilian hair, all of that good stuff. I want you guys to think about what's going on in today's time. In today's time, yes human hair and virgin hair all that stuff is still very popular but not only is that popular synthetic units are extremely popular as well the girls nowadays want to switch their hair every few days a lot of girls i've seen like to have their hair matching their uh, uh, outfits for the day and things like that so i want you guys to really broaden your horizon to synthetic units you can make a banger off of synthetic units of course you have to let your customers know that these are synthetic units and not uh, virgin hair units or raw hair uh, raw hair units or anything like that but something that i will suggest is really doing your research on synthetic units now if you do start a business and you do start your business with synthetic units and you are advertising it is that don't please please know that once your business does start to make uh, a consistent amount of income where you can actually order quantity or or uh, or uh, large stocks or inventory of whichever type of hair that you want to order and that could be like raw hair indian hair brazilian hair peruvian hair mongolian hair all of these different origins of hair um don't i do want you guys to eventually get to that point as well and you can find tons of synthetic units on alibaba and when i say cheap wholesale price cheap i'm talking like five dollars a unit ten dollars a unit twenty dollars a unit depending on the quality of synthetic hair that you ultimately want your customers to have so how we're going to do this whole price list thing is we have a hundred dollars out of that hundred dollars we're going to spend fifty dollars on units and when i say units i'm talking more so wigs um and like i said uh alibaba has super super cheap cheap wigs that you can utilize and i know when you guys hear like five dollars two dollars ten dollars you guys are probably like i'm not selling that ish which I totally understand, but I want you guys to think about it. When you go into your local beauty supply stores and they're selling units for 50 bucks and $20, really think about if they're, they're reselling that at that price, how much are they ultimately getting it for? In order to be a boss, you have to think like one, okay? So like I said, use $50 out of that $100 for strictly just inventory. Order a few units, order some units so you can take some pictures of. Make sure you're advertising them as synthetic units. And then uh, that leaves us with 50 additional dollars. The next thing that we're going to do, we're going to head over to irs.gov and go ahead and get us a free IN number if we don't already. So that is free. So we already started the legal process to an extent. Uh, so once we have the hair, we have our EIN number. The next thing that we need to do is get us a website so we can sell our merchandise and our products. Now, 
I would say roughly about $25 to actually start a website. Now, in order to do this or to stick in this particular budget, you have to be a little computer savvy or watch a few YouTube videos. You can literally learn how to do anything from YouTube. Learn how to build a website. Take the time out of your busy schedules and put it into your business and invest it ultimately into your business. So I would definitely say 25 bucks in order to get uh, websites on the internet, actually, you know, so people can get to it. Uh, you can you can build you a website on like a Squarespace. You can go to Wix.com. Both of my websites are actually ran through Wix.com. You can go to uh, Shopify. You can also go to Big Cartel. In order to stay in the price price range, I would say like do like a Big Cartel if you're not like super savvy with. Um, coding or also like learning to build a website if that makes sense or you can also go through wix wix is like a super super simple super easy you can literally build a website in probably an hour type of vibe so out of our hundred dollars we've spent roughly 75 dollars so we've got about 25 dollars remaining at this point you need some type of packaging packaging does sell but you don't have to go all out you can do something simple like organza bags you can print off labels from your home and make it even more cheaper but of course good quality um good quality especially visually to the eye that it looks good um so i would say you should say 12 bucks 12 out of that 25 dollars that we have left over take 12 of those those dollars and go ahead and head over to the to the dollar store okay don't sleep on it when you try to make it you would do anything by any means necessary so you can go to the dollar store and get you like tissue papers uh you can get uh different type of taggings you can get different type of organza bags that they have or you can also go to giftinternational.com and look at some of their bags they are like known for just their bags so they have different type of inexpensive like velvet bags satin bags uh different type of material organza bags and things of that nature and go ahead and get you some some packaging once uh you do receive your packaging or get your packaging you roughly have about 12 13 dollars left over uh you need to and with that you need to get you some business cards or make some business cards at your home uh and you can uh you can go to like uh zazzle and make business cards or you can go to vista print and make business cards i believe vista print has 50 business cards for nine dollars and 99 cents uh, and you can take it that route but literally in order to start a business you do not need a large amount of money make make something shake with what you what you have and build from there yes i'm saying start with synthetic units but i'm not saying end with synthetic units once you build your clientele or your customers then introduce new collections like the raw collection the brazilian collections the peruvian collection the bundle collection like whatever you want to do but i do want everyone to have an opportunity to be an entrepreneur and like i said it takes nothing i it doesn't take much i started my hair company in 2017 with 500 dollars, and i made it shake okay so with all of that being said i definitely do hope uh you guys don't sleep on any of this information give it a go around give it a try it's not gonna hurt to try and honestly synthetic units are becoming the new freaking wave in my opinion because people switch their hair so freaking often and here's a little um and i'm honestly thinking about rolling out a synthetic unit for my already existing hair company it's quick it's easy and the girls are loving it and the, the goal is to give your customers whatever they love okay whatever they love give it to them but other than that i hope this video does help the help you on the other end of the screen i love you don't forget to subscribe i will definitely be putting out more tips and tricks regarding the hair business and also just being a self boss or entrepreneur um but other than that i love you guys and i will see you guys in my next video